Hey, welcome back everyone. How you doing? Uh, it's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. What you're looking at here, it's uh, Dunkirk. And uh, it's running through Xbox One X. Uh, 4K UHD HDR version. That's on the uh, Microsoft Entertainment Movies TV Store app. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I have connected my Xbox One X through a... Uh, Oppo UDP Oppo 203 and one cool thing about connecting any of your devices through Oppo UDP 203 number one it is the pass-through it is the HDR pass-through uh, and number two you can actually measure and detect to see the bit rate the variations of the bit rate on the movie uh, what type of audio it has you can see like right here on the left and on the right it tells you the uh, 4.20 uh, decibels, which is the, uh, I'm sorry, not the decibels, it's a 10-bit, I apologize. What you're seeing here is the video, uh, 4K, 2K, 60 hertz, 4.20 chroma upsampling, which is 10-bit uh, chroma upsampling. If you go to 4.44, that means you're going to a higher uh, up sampling which is the 12 bit and and higher that would be for Dolby Vision usually Dolby Vision it's compressed but it will show up still as a 420 10 bit because your television can only support through HDMI for 20 chroma up sampling which is the uh, 10 bit so you can clearly see video 4k 2k 60 Hertz 420 10 bit 16 by 9 ratio and then on your left you can see the LPCM 2.0 48k the reason you you see audio LPCM 2.0 it's because I'm using Dolby Atmos uh, headphones app what it is it's a Dolby Atmos configuration that the software it utilizes compressed sound and then enhances it to a Dolby Atmos experience. So you can watch this movie with the Dolby Atmos uh, headphones experience. All you have to do is download the Dolby Atmos app and uh, subscribe, buy the whole thing for $14 and then you can uh, enjoy Dolby Atmos. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to play a little bit I'm going to play a little bit of this movie and then we're going to look at the variations uh, to see how much the uh... you see like right here here's a good example I'm going to show you something the video here I want you to see this this is very important stuff here's what's going on look on your right right over here the video source it's 420 chroma upsampling 10 bit but if you look down below at the bottom here you will see that my output from oppo pass through it's uh 422 12 bit color chroma upsampling okay so what it's doing it's compressing the 10 bit into the 12 bit but it's still a 10 bit but it's being compressed to a higher color all right, let's let's play a movie a little bit just to show you here. And just so you know that I am using uh, Xbox, it is the Xbox One X, and this is on the Xbox One X. I'm gonna press play really quick. There it is. And actually, it, it looks it looks pretty darn good. Uh, for uh, Xbox One X. Now what we have going on here, we have Xbox One X compressing this from the 10 bit, and then we have Oppo UDP 203, which is right down here below me, uh, outputting it. Uh, hold on a second. That might have been my internet. We'll play it again. And then we have the uh, Oppo UDP 203 
chroma upsampling it to 12 bit. Now you're going to ask, well, how do you do that? How do you uh, up upsample something to 12 bit through pass through? Well, it's simple. What you do is you go to the uh, OPPO menu, display menu settings, and you choose the output to be uh, 4 to 2, 12 bit. Okay? That's how you do that. I guess we can play a little bit more so I can show you. Uh, but it looks really great, honestly. Uh, the quality, it's really top notch. I don't know if my camera can depict that, but trust me, the, the quality, it, it's top notch so far. I guess we can play a little bit, just a little bit more here. Or maybe we can just move forward a little bit. Get to a certain like uh, scenes over here really quick. We'll press play right now. You know, there's a certain uh, tone of color in this movie. That's because uh, Christopher Nolan wanted this movie to look uh, like in that era of, of uh, 1940s. So it has to have that tone of color, like a dark grayish, kind of like a Saving Private Ryan color, if you will, that Yanis Kaminsky used. But it looks really good. Uh, like I said, I know that the Apple 4K TV has cheaper prices and you get Dolby Vision version. So I would highly recommend, if you have an Apple 4K TV, go with the Apple 4K uh, version because you're paying only 20 bucks and you're getting Dolby Vision, okay? Now, the one thing that I wish Apple would do in the future is get the Dolby Atmos experience for the headphones. I think they will do that. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do that because they already have the partnership with uh, Dolby Vision. So I'm sure that that's something in the works. We might see that next year. And once Apple releases the Dolby Atmos uh, experience, then you're gonna have a full Dolby Vision experience. You'll have Dolby Vision movies and Dolby Atmos. So you'll be able to listen and watch Dolby Vision the way it was meant to be. So, but the one unique cool feature that I like about Microsoft uh, Movie TV Store, it's the fact that you can also watch it on your PC. You can also watch it on your uh, Dell Windows Mixed Reality. Here's another cool feature about the Windows Mixed Reality. I was watching this movie last night with Windows Mixed Reality, Dell Visor, the one I have, with Dolby Atmos for headphones experience. Now, when you put on the visor, it's 1440 by 1440 on the left and the right eye. And when you're watching a movie, you get much sharper, clearer image. And then when you put in a Dolby Atmos uh, app experience headphones, then you get even more immersive experience. So it looks really good, man. It sounds really good. Uh, if you guys never tried Dell Visor, uh, when you walk around this little house that you are it's called a microsoft house whatever you walk around it and right down below as you walk down the stairs you have this big giant home theater okay and it's a big giant screen i don't know, like a 600 inches 700 inches a huge gigantic gigantic screen and when you sit down and you put on those visor vr headsets and you watch this movie it's almost when it's almost like you're in a movie theater and it's just a better experience you know so you get the for me personally this is good because i get the best of the both worlds i get the uh hdr version with 4k and i also get the uh windows mixed reality experience as well you know so to me it's it's beneficial for those of you who don't have the uh windows mixed reality Maybe it's not something that, you know, would benefit you. But still, 
again, the point I'm trying to make here, what the Xbox One X is doing, it's pretty darn good. It's streaming the movies really well. Uh, the HDR is pretty good. They have a good, healthy collection of 4K UHD HDR movies, and they look really good, okay? On top of the 4K Blu-ray player that they have. Now, there will be a comparison. I will do a comparison between Dunkirk on the uh, Microsoft HDR and then the Apple 4K HDR version. And then, of course, Dolby Vision version. I will do that comparison. I'm going to plug it in through my... Uh, Oppo UDP 203 to see what type of uh, bitrate am I getting between the two. Obviously, Dolby Vision version is going to look more colorful because of the higher 12-bit compression. But either way, uh, look, the whole point here for me is to tell you that you're getting a lot of benefit by purchasing the Xbox One X. Not only are you getting a really powerful console, but you're also getting the home entertainment that supports Dolby Atmos at the moment. And I think in the future, in the future, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't support Dolby Vision. So we'll see some Dolby Vision in the future. I guarantee you that it'll happen. All right, guys. So there you have it. Just a little short video. Uh, and here's the Dolby Atmos app in case you guys are wondering. It's called Dolby Access. There it is. I haven't signed in, so what it does, it's asks you to purchase it. You have two different options. You have the Dolby Atmos for home theater. This is for those of you who have uh, Onkyo 676, okay, or uh, higher models out there. And then you have options for the Dolby Atmos for headphones. Now, what's so cool about Dolby Atmos for headphones, you can have any type of headphones. I'm currently using the Sennheisers. Sennheisers, these are right here. These are the ones I'm using. I highly recommend you guys get these Sennheisers. They're pretty good. Uh, it, you can even unplug this jack right here. You can unplug it and plug it in. It's removable. Uh, so here, I'll show it to you, like right here. Just give me one second. You see, you can remove it, you can plug it in, plug it back in right here. I'll show it to you in a minute. There it is. Very simple, very easy, and these are really good. They're very light, and, and they sound really good with Adobe Atmos. And then, of course, you add a pair of uh, Dell visors. You get a pair of Dell visors with these uh, headsets and the uh, headphones, and it's just even much better experience. And the reason I say you should go ahead with a Windows Mixed Reality headset because of that high resolution. HTC Vive, it's okay, but it's still not that sharp enough for me to have that experience. Oculus Rift, it's not sharp enough for me to have that movie theater experience. Visor with a 1440 by 1440 on each eye, you're getting a much sharper image and therefore you're getting much better compression. And on a big giant screen, it is almost as if you're in a movie theater, so. And then when you add Dolby Atmos for headphones on your PC, then it's even better. However, it is very important that you guys understand your PC has to be Dolby enabled, meaning that your PC has to have a Dolby uh, sound in there. If it doesn't have a Dolby marked sound on your laptop, if it has some different types of uh, sound card, it's not going to work. Meaning you will have to uh, buy an external Dolby uh, enabled card to get the advantage of uh, Dolby Atmos, okay? So they can process that. So I just want to keep that in check in case you guys are wondering. So there you have it. Um, I think it's worth it, you know. To me personally, you know, uh, to me it works. Okay, I just want to say this. To me, this is ideal because I have I have a uh, I have the ability to choose whether I want to watch it in HDR, Dolby Atmos, or whether I want to watch it in. Uh, Dell Visor, Windows Mixed Reality with Dolby Atmos. Uh, 
headsets. So for me, this is kind of cool. But for you, if you have an Apple 4K TV and for 20 bucks, you're getting Dolby Vision, then you have a Dolby Vision TV, then of course you want to go with that. I mean, but trust me, guys, uh, Xbox, probably next year, spring, summer, we'll see Dolby Vision movies being released. Okay, they will be released. We will see them. I guarantee you that. They, it will happen. Okay, because they already have a partnership with Dolby. Uh, you know, and I'm sure there will be Dolby Vision in the future. All right, guys, so there you have it. Hopefully you liked the video. And uh, try it out. Give it a try.